Brief disclaimer, if, if for whatever reason, chat, I do this number, and I just, like, fall asleep, chat, it's not that the game is boring. I, I'm telling you, I'm probably going to wind up dozing a couple of times. But if that happens, I'll probably cut the stream when I wake up. <laughs> Ruckus, how you doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Happy Chill Tuesday. Sometimes it's when your blood can't reach your brain in time. Yeah, that's... That lightheaded feeling sucks, man. Especially when you stand up, you're just like, Oh, no, no. Oh, oh, no. It takes like a second. You're like, I'm good. Uh, you're like, you have to figure out like for a few seconds. You're like, am I good? Am I good? Yeah, I'm good. Haven't passed out. I don't think I've ever passed out yet. But now I'm, now I'm worried. I'm going to get me some iron, some iron, uh, iron vitamins or iron supplements or something maybe to take daily. Maybe that'll help. Jim, what do you take for your, your iron supplements? If I can figure out what it is, maybe I'll get me some. Well, if I feel so dumb thinking there's an internet challenge record for everything at this point, why do you feel dumb for thinking that? There is there is a record for everything, including internet records. Are you are you talking squad? Are you talking about um? Are you talking about that one streamer that that had that that thing where they stayed up without sleep for yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what you're talking about. Yeah, that person, uh... Some, some, somebody basically said, like... Obviously, the longer you go without sleep... Like, the worse it is for your body. You actually start doing long-term damage to your body. Like, without... I think it's like three or four days sleep... Without, without any sleep whatsoever... Starts doing, like, long-term damage. Like... You will actually, they, from what I've read, again, take this with a grain of salt, I'm not a health expert, and I don't think the person I read this from either is a health expert. But they said, like, you can really mess up your sleep schedule, like, in, like internally you won't be able to, like, sleep proper for, like, a while. It's like, it is not good to do that to your body. Not at all. You start hallucinating, start getting delusional. Even small naps can help, but like, nah, you don't, you don't want to go, you don't want to be sleep deprived for too long. That is really bad for you. You passed out once, almost. What, Ru Ruckus, what happened to you? See, I know, I know some, I think I know somebody who actually passed out from like, blood, like seeing their own blood. They're squeamish. People were keeping them up, I don't know if it was peer pressure or, mm. Person broke the worker, but he's still a bad influence. Oh, is that what it is? Hmm. I went without sleep for one day and a half, and I saw demons. You saw the you, what? Do, what do you call those things? Um. Sleep, sleep, para, sleep, paral, sleep, perilous demon, or whatever those things are. Sleep paralyzed demon. I don't know how, what's the term for that. Sleep paralyzed. Sleep paralysis demon. That's what it is. Yeah. Thank you. I was like trying to figure out. I was like, what is that? Again, no sleep. So chat, that's your heads up. If I if I doze to sleep, chat, let me dream. Unless it's ugly sleep, and I'm like going like, like snoring, wake me up. If not, let, let me sleep. All right, here we go. Lost Judgment. The mystery chapter continues. Double Jeopardy. Again, if I say anything nonsensical, I I, I gotta iter I gotta reiterate, no sleep. All right. So what were we doing last time? Talk to Sorry. Sorry, I forgot that. Look at anyway, your, look at I'd your like uh, fabric Ahara there. About that video face to face. Any chance we could see him again? Oh right, we saw that video of him killing the kid. Remember, Chad? One moment. Okay, now I remember where we are in the story. It's from Ahara's prison. What? What? Hello. Is he calling us? Yes, this is Shirosaki. Yes, I can talk. His prison? Why would they call us directly? Did you see that video? Understood. It's crazy, right? Candor. That was one of the prison wardens. He was asked to convey a message from Ahara. Huh? About what? In short, he won't be speaking with his representation any further. What's You're going true. on? To be more specific, he said he's not taking any more questions. It seems he fully grasps the situation, even in custody. 
Mm-hmm. How is that even? Why is everybody's possible? name changed I'm colors in chat? Jin is now possible. the same red right color that hands. Squad is, and now Heartless that Angel, who's normally purple, is yellow. Have to be filling him in. How else could he predict we'd try to see him again? So right, soon? someone's spying on us. I can see either of those scenarios making sense. But only someone on the force could be leaking insider information to him like that. Hey, Heartless, how you yeah. doing? By the way, She's welcome in. Into a full-blown conspiracy, hey, Talk. Whatever it is, it's screwing up our plans. He got arrested yeah. for groping, and Time now he gets away with murder, course. Chad. We can't let this now stand. What are we supposed to do? Come on. There are plenty of leads that don't involve grilling the culprit. Yeah? Like what? I'd like to hear him. Well, if it were me, I'd start with Sauriku. Okay. The first thing I want to learn is whether Ehara is really the murderer in this footage. Given the entire sexual battery incident as an alibi, there is no way he could have murdered Mikoshiba. As far as we know. However, this new footage knocks the bottom out of that premise. Right. Either his alibi or the murder footage. One of the two's been fabricated. <sighs> The groping or the murder? Right now, which one do we doubt more? God, that is that's hard because it's like there's video footage of him doing both. Wait, no. Hmm. The only because they caught him physically caught him groping, right? So therefore, the groping is real. the The murder, the murder video though. He could have recorded that and then leaked it later. The only one we know for sure is he did get caught groping. Because that's him. They straight up arrested him and took him in after that. I was going to say, because the, the groping incident was obviously a setup, but that was real. Because they tackled him and took him in after that. If that was not the guy, then it would have been another guy. What if they're both real? I think the murder footage is fabricated. I mean, I, I don't doubt that he possibly could have killed the kid. Killed that guy. He's not a kid. The only thing I know for real is that the groping was... It's funny if this is like Persona 4 where it's like you choose the wrong answer and you get a bad ending. Um, I think the murder footage is fabricated. The footage of the murder must have been manipulated somehow could have put Ahara's face onto the real killer, or even rendered the whole thing digitally. So you're suggesting we should distrust the murder footage? Huh. And how do we prove it's real or fake? Well, I'm sure Tsukumo's cracking away at that. So, yeah, let's find some other angles. I'd say there's only one angle left. Regardless of who actually murdered Mikoshiba, we have two conflicting accounts here. Which one was faked? I don't think the... How could the groping... How could the groping incident be faked? If they literally, if I literally was on a train, I would never do this, by the way. But theoretically speaking, if they caught me on footage, like groping a girl and running off the train, a bunch of good Samaritans tackle me and then the police take me in straight to jail. I am in jail. That's me. Well, obviously it was a setup, but I mean, like. Uh, maybe I'm looking into this at the wrong angle. Let, let's see. I think we should revisit the harassment case. When the sentence came down in court, no one expected it to end up as a murder alibi. Plus, everyone suspected Ahara was working alone. He may have not been. All this makes a huge difference. No one would suspect a train groping to involve accomplices or alibis. The search for evidence wouldn't be as intense as for a murder. Correct. But the entire incident was caught on camera, top to bottom. There's more than enough physical evidence, too. Then we'll need to verify each and every aspect of the case. Okay, what first? Should we investigate the crime scene again? Maybe we'll discover something new if we check out the station during the crime's actual time frame. No, I think we saw everything we could there. Actually, if we're reviewing evidence, we could do that from right here, couldn't we? What catches your eye specifically? I ask because fabricated evidence would likely show signs of tampering. This would prove Ahara's alibi doesn't hold up. Time to really scrutinize this case. What evidence was Ahara relying on to falsify his alibi? The footage. The eyewitness smartphone footage. Trace element inspection report. 
Ihara's Transit. These are all good. Oh, I think I figured it out. Huh, well, this is a stretch. This is a stretch. What if the footage, because the, they, there was a guy running through the train station with sunglasses, right? There was a blind spot in the cameras, if you all remember. What if there was another guy who traded places with the guy wearing sunglasses? There was one blind spot. They could have they could have switched between them. But then why if they were going to do that, why why put the Let let's go with let's go with the with the I want to see if the blind spot thing comes up. This part's still getting to me. Look. The Shinjuku station diagram. Did something happen at the platform? A lookalike or something. Well, yeah, look right the there. The majority of the incident was caught on camera. But I don't think we have any footage of what happened around here. A blind spot. That's what I'm much, saying. But it's a blind spot all the same. Hoshino Kun and I confirmed that at the scene. I remember that. I literally called that out. I was like, hey, there's a spot where but the cameras aren't blind seeing. Spot change anything. A lot can happen there. Mind is, gives Ahara a chance to swap with the stand. I said that. The real Ahara murdered Mikoshiba and Ijincho at 7:30. Yeah, he could have had a guy Shinjo posing for him on the train. Just after nine o'clock. And then the showed up at the at the, the groping scene. Yes. On purpose. Yes, chat. So you're suggesting that there were two Aharas at Shinjuku Station. Yep. And the true assailant, the Ahara lookalike, disappeared into the crowd. Wait. If what you propose is true. Does that mean Ahara had never touched the victim? There's a high probability. Yeah. But the police inspection revealed trace fibers from the victim's clothing on Ahara's hand. Okay, uh, that's actually... Trace inspection. Hmm. Yeah. What if you had somebody working so on the inside what? for him? The fact that Ahara touched the victim remains standing. The victim felt his hand reach under her skirt right after the train departed Ikebukuro. She was scared motionless for the entire commute until arriving at Shinjuku Station. Damn. You describe the victim for me. She's an office worker married to an industrial designer. Also has a six-year-old son. Full name, Yui Mamiya. 30 years old. Hmm. Wife and mother. Was she also in on this? Was she an actor? She could give us more insight than that video. Yeah, we need to she talk to her. She may something none of us know. Upon learning Ahara's alibi might have been fabricated. That's a good plan. We'll finally have a fresh source of info. In that case, give me a moment so I can get a meeting set up. We should have her address and other information somewhere on file. Bear in mind, Mamiya san Tasers and Mesa are illegal in Japan, really? Oh, that explains a lot. That explains a lot. Standard for us, I'd say. Nobody rolls out the red carpet. That sucks. Right? Yeah. Yo, what's up, Jack? Welcome in. It looks like we've got some free time. So let's say we grab some food. Now that you mention it, I am getting hungry. I liked my theory of the switch it, the switch out during that blind spot. I'm so glad I called that out last stream. I feel smart now. I feel validated. Huh. Uh-huh. Look at those jerks hanging out in front of Club Sega. Bet it's not a friendly hello. They do look like they mean business. This arcade's idea of an ambush? How basic. Mmm. There's more. Over there, too. Uh huh. Hey, the boys. From yesterday. Guess they want to settle the score. Looks like they rounded up some buddies and waited for us to show. Well, whatever the hell they want, let's not get Genda Sensei and them involved. Follow me. Okay. Let's take it outside and away from the building, please. 
Get away from the Gendo Law Office. They don't need to see this, chat. They don't need to see the choke slamming we're about to do. Wait, was that an item over there? Nope, just a smoking spot. Never mind. They about to get choke slammed so good, chat. Ooh, I can't wait. Music of getting away from the building. I'm getting fed up with this shit. Why haven't they made a move yet? It's like they're waiting for something. Whatever it is, they're taking their sweet ass time. Hmm. Hey! Quit dicking around and come get some! What the hell? They're just gonna keep stalking us? Nope. Thanks for waiting, assholes! Whoa! Oh, shit. Really? The sneak attack too? Let me guess. Your RK too? Bastard went straight for our heads. Are you nuts, guy? Shut your mouth! RK members. It looks like it's time to disarm them with the with the power of the snake. Oh wait, music chat. Ugh, through the glass. Ooh, okay. Hey on. Nope. Counter. Oh! Oh! Did you see the against the wall? Oh shoot! Nah. Bro, that was nice against the wall too. Ugh! Choke slam. You get some too. Choke slam. One more for the road. Oh. Ugh. Whoop! Nope. Counter. That was nice. Give me this bat. Oh, I want to listen to the music a little bit, Kaito. Wait for it. You hearing this? Do we get to hear this more? Bro, you are walking awful close. For a man who's got... Oh, you did not just kick that bat on my hand. Where'd it go? You jerk. Leave me alone. Damn it, I should have just triangled him when I had the chance. Oh, wait! Yeah. Uh. That was nice. The music too. That bat was gone to save its pe I guess so. That bat had places to be. That's one down. Bro, I literally comboed that 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 guy against the wall. That was disgusting. Uh-huh. Not out of the woods just yet. Oh, there's more. Play that theme again. I'm hype. Oh, never mind. Look at that squirrel in the background. Damn. They really went all out on the backup. Is the whole town arcade now or something? Doc, we should probably get gone before the cops roll in. Why? It's not our fault we're getting jumped. Hmm. Man, you almost be feeling really embarrassed. You jumped us of weapons and you still got beat. Dan, they just lingering. Yeah. At this rate, we won't be meeting Sorry Son and the others. Wouldn't want to drag them into this. That's what they're trying to do. So why not hit Arcade at home? Yeah? Why not? Soma and Akatsu are at the top and they probably remember me. I'll just ask them real nice to keep their goons off our back. Unless you want to keep dealing with these fucking scrubs. Scrubs! I'm fine with making a house call. Any idea where it is? Yeah, a club in the back of Theater Square. It used to be Arcade exclusive. Nowadays, I hear they let in thugs from all over. Man, I'm kind of curious. Fine, fine. Bro, they got dudes everywhere. What's going on? That's Bunch of nerds. Like they ain't even inti they like they're not going to intimidate us. Not with not with that body. They're too they're too weak. You know, it's not weak. It's alcohol I'm about to drink. Yes, I must say it. 
Uh, give me the. Uh, ooh, that's ex oh my god, this is expensive. Give me your Carlsberg. On the rocks. I don't drink. I don't know. I don't know. Starving. Pretty tasty. Yeah. Thanks. Now I'm a little. I'm a little tipsy. That'll make me stronger with my drunken kung fu. Okay. Talk. Hang it. Yagami. Hold it together. It's just a little. It's just a little bit of alcohol. You. You've had worse. Come on, buddy. Slow down. Do 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 do. Bro, that theme was nice. My Ruck Fu. Ruck Fu absolutely. Oh, wait. Hold on. Give me more. Get over there. Trying to jump me from behind. Do you realize I am snake style? Nah. Get out of here. Do it. Counter. Counter. Whoa. Whoa. Die. 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 Bro, he got caught in a loop. There we go. Oh. And stay down. Bro. That was the most disrespectful kick I've ever done to anybody. You see him glide across the ground, too? Like a Dragon Ball Z character. Oh, snap! Stop trying to hit me from behind. Ain't like that! Ooh, cash! Get back! I don't give a damn how mad you are. Sit down! Yelling at me? Shut up! Dude yelled in my ear, chat. You see that? That was rude. I'm the only one that gets to yell. Me. This is it, Tuck. Get ready to meet some shady people. Yeah, shady is definitely the operative word here. Can't imagine this place gets a lot of foot traffic. Shady as hell. To the underground was right here in broad daylight. All right, let's get in there and be done with this. Let's fight a gauntlet, chat. Uh-huh. You have Wi-Fi down here, bro? Hey, who the hell are you two? Got some invitations? The Yagami Detective Agency doesn't need any. Say, is Akutsu or Soma around? Detectives, huh? There a problem here? This is a public business, isn't it? Uh-huh. About time you showed up. We've been expecting you. Oh, that's what you guys wanted the whole time. Nothing like running into an old friend. You want to talk to Akutsu-san, fine. But only Kaito gets in. Why? See, we all knew the Yakuza out in the cold would come around to us once the Tojo clan. Ah. Oh. <laughs> know what makes us such a hit? Who gives a shit? We got a system fleshed out. Your average gangbanger starts at rank F. Here we go. But an ex-Yakuza, a Tojo had at that. Fast track right to B rank. Oh, and just for you, Kaito-san. The boss says he'll start you out at A. Really? Yeah, I'm sure you've got your pick of the chumps. But I'm here to talk to a fucking adult man. Ooh! So get stepping and take me to Akatsu. Spoken like a man with some balls. See why Akatsu's had his eye on you. What? So I really have to just wait in the line? He's like, what about me, bro? You should thank your lucky stars you're not dead yet. I don't know about this, Kaito-san. What if you need backup? Going into a gang turf about backup, it's too dangerous even for Kaito. We have no clue how many members are back there or what they're doing. Relax, Doc. All I gotta do is talk man-to-man -man with Akatsu real quick, and we'll be out of here. Uh, oh, come on. Oh, it's gonna be that quick. I'll just wait right here. <laughs> Do whatever you want. Yeah. 
You're shit for business. Whatever, ah, dude. Sit your dumb ass down. Friends? Ugly ass dude sitting over there on his phone. It's been 10 minutes since Kaito Samwin and I have no clue what's going on. Okay, chat. Okay, chat. There's no sign of him returning. Guess that means... Hey, uh... Think I could use your restroom? There's one inside, right? Yeah, I just gotta go. Shit on the cement for all I care. Restrooms are for guests only. Here we go. So, you and RK2? I take it business is good lately. Oh, hell yeah. Recruits are swarming in by the dozen. If you're looking for quick cash at Comrocho, RK's where it's at. Plenty of hotties, too. I'm looking at one on my phone right now. Wow. And all you do is fool around on your phone. Hey. Talk about living on easy street. Screw you. Hey, not my fault they don't loop you into the good jobs. Bet those only go to the A-rank guys. You must be, what? Ooh. F-minus? Yeah, we're just gonna rile you up, buddy. Did you just say? Oh, did I offend you? Sorry. Guess some gangbangers are softies. I'll show Ooh. you who's soft, asshole. Hands off. Oh! You did that to yourself, bro. Sorry. You did that to yourself. Split up from my buddy does make me kind of an asshole. Let's find out what happened to Kaito. Damn. Just put his phone in, yeah, put his phone in his hand. It'll make it look like he's taking a nap. I should never let Kaito go in there alone. I have to find him now. Not like sitting around here would do any case any good anyway. Chat, I need y'all to stop. Careful here. Oh, I got a st oh crap, I got a stealth. Chat, I'm gonna need you all to to calm down on this man's eyebrows. All right, he's already he's already taken a headshot. All right, he's damaged. He's got brain damage. He's stupider than he was before. All right, he's learned his lesson. Here we go. Ooh. Stealth. I'm about to die. First thing to head to uh, find Kaito. He's supposed to be talking to Akatsu right now. And are all these guys RK? It'd be a pain to take them all on. Besides, if I make a scene, who knows what might happen to Kaito? I need to find a way around without getting noticed by them. Let's start off by searching that room. I like that room. It's, it says private on it, so you know it's good. Did you hear about the stuff from D23? Kinda, yes and no. There's a couple of things I saw. We'll talk about that in just a second. Including like the Thunderbolts and all that stuff. Zootopia 2 and all the likes. Looks like no one's in here. Let's see if anything in here can do me some good. Did I see, did I see hot sauce on this shelf, chat? Delicious. Oh, these drinks are crazy expensive. Okay. I thought I saw hot sauce. I was gonna say we could use it to throw some hot sauce in someone's eye. Suspicious. A safe. Wish I could see what's in it, but... Without the pass roll, passcode, all I can do is stare at the thing. Hmm. Hey. Oh. What the? No proud, fam proud family news? The proud family, uh, didn't the proud family already have a remake? It just had, it just had a new season, I thought. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, oh. Lays, did I did I say hi to you? Did I welcome you in yet? Welcome. Anybody else I miss as well? Welcome. Sorry. Uh, we're still getting a new season. Well, to be fair, they also didn't show anything about Kingdom Hearts Four. That's another thing that was on my Twitter timeline for a while. Everybody complaining that there's no Kingdom Hearts Four. I'm like, bro, you know how long it took before Kingdom Hearts Three came out after two, like two decades. Like, you know, you know Kingdom Hearts 4 is not coming out until 2042. Come on. Maybe this is a pretty story that'll help me in a pinch. Like, that game is not coming out for years, dude. Anything cool here? Uh huh. 
That wasn't the only, re only reason Kingdom Hearts fans were upset? What's the other reason, then? Hmm. Got a Transformer? Hmm. Robots in disguise? A breaker panel! Maybe I can cut the lights of this, make it easier to sneak it. There we go! The vents are loud? Oh look! A vent! It's rusty as hell. Follow the vent, chat. Uh -huh. Is Sora gonna be in Fortnite? Oh, there we go. I ought to fit in this ventilation duct. They're putting. Wait, no. Wait, are they really putting Sora in Kingdom or uh, uh, Fortnite? That seems weird. Wouldn't surprise me. Everything's in that. I gotta locate a foothold. Those crates, chat. It's time for the milk crate challenge. Hey, suspicious. Time for the milk crate challenge, chat. Don't try this at home. You will die and break your neck. Not necessarily in that order. Here we go. I should be able to reach the duck like this. Okay, wait, wait. Let's look. Yeah, what's the movie where you're crawling through the vent and it goes da 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 Look at that guy. What an idiot. He doesn't even see me crawling over him like an idiot. Uh-oh. Hey, where'd that new guy get taken to? Uh, I heard Akutsu's son wanted to see him. Why? For real? Was he taken to the VIP room then? Sounds like it. I see. It looks like Kaito-san was taken to the VIP room. <laughs> even I've never gotten what makes him such a big shot? Big shot. VIP room seems to be that way. All right, let's check it out. Mission Impossible. That is the movie. Congratulations, chat. You win. There's a toughener light. A Tarner X. Tarn X. Tarner X. Can't go that way. Oh hey, that's a there's a bartender. I guess he's just setting up. Mm. I could use that guy's costume. It's just from up here, but he kind of looks like me. It's time to knock his ass out, chat. I'm gonna get him. I just had an idea. Let's see if I can track that guy down. Let's follow him, chat. You're gonna make an awful, amazing stand-in for us. Where the hell did he go? There he is. Don't let him get away. What the? Oh my God! The lighting got messed up for a second. <gasps> oh, that's unfortunate, chat for him. Sorry to do this to you, bro. I'm so sorry. Oh, come on, Kaito. Yeah, I mean Yagami. Oh, Take a quick breather. Yagami, you could have caught the guy. Don't let the man hit the ground in the bathroom. And now you're wearing that piss-covered suit because he just laid on the ground. Not bad, I might actually pull this off. At least he zipped his pants up. Did he? It looked like he was still midstream and he knocked him out. That's the worst. Don't do that to a man while I at least let him finish. And at least let him wash his hands. He was zipped up. Okay. I thought I thought he caught a midstream. I was supposed to be like, don't do that to a man. At least let him finish. That's gotta be the worst. Can you chat? I want y'all to understand. Right that 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 just happened right there? Did you see that? That's one of my hidden fears. Every time I'm in a, in a bathroom and I'm at a stall and somebody walks into the bathroom with me, in the back of my head, I swear to God, 
That's one of my worst scenarios. What if the dude just decides to sucker punch me or hit me in the back of the head? Your back is like you're you're focused on the task at hand. That right there is exactly what I'm afraid of. What if somebody just decides to cold cock me in the back of the head? No, Jen, I mean like when somebody walks in while you're taking care of business. You can't leave. You're you're already you're the the deed is being done. You can't stop the stream once it's going. It don't feel good. And it ain't good for you. Go faster. Just force it out. Just clench really hard. <laughs> nah, that's scary as hell. I don't like that. Oh. Hold chat. Do you mind if I take this phone call real quick? No, you know what? Let me take this real quick. Hang on. Give me a second. Alright, I'm back. Okay, guys. But yeah, man, don't chat. If you have, if you, let's say you have business with somebody, you're trying to fight someone in the bathroom, and they're taking and they're taking a leak. Let them finish. If you're like, hey, man, <laughs> you call him out, right? And he's like, oh shoot. Let him finish. Let him zip up. Let him wash his hands. Then throw down. God dang, that is a un that was a new fear unlocked for me that I always had. Great, even more of them hanging around. If I get surrounded here, it's all over. Yeah, never force it. You might damage your kidneys. I might be extra careful if I have to deal with any of them. Hey, oh. there. Uh, yes? Can I help you? You better stop fucking around. Didn't I ask you for another round? Did you? Huh? Another round? You forgot my order already? I want my bottle. All right, baby. Yeah. I'll give you your bottle. Right Goo goo gaga. That. Stupid asshole. Wait a minute. Uh oh. You know what? Fuck the bottle. How about you just mix me a cocktail? Ah, oh, crap. But of course. This would be me in the scenario. I don't know anything about mixing alcohol. I guess I don't have any choice but to make this guy a drink. I hope it doesn't. T How do you make a cocktail? I'll be like, ah. Uh... You throw the rubbing alcohol in. You spit in it. You throw a grape in there. Boom. Delicious alcohol. I don't know. I don't know the first thing about mixing alcohol. Hang on. Maybe this is just what I needed. If I put him under the table with some strong booze, I can clear out of here. It's worth a shot anyway. Hope you guys ha hope you guys know some hangover cures, fellas. I'm about to poison the shit out of them. Give them alcohol poisoning to the extreme. One drink coming up. Give him Dr. Pe- I ain't- Listen. Oh, wait. He does know- Look at that. Oh, 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 oh. Hey! Shaken, not stirred. Here, sir. Oh, that that shit's pink as hell. It looks like a pink lemonade. Mmm. Give. Uh, see, if we give him a Coca Cola. He'd be like, "Is this Pepsi?" And I'd be like, "Nah, it's Coke." Joke's on you, idiot. Because there's the because Coke and Pepsi are the same chat. I uh, yeah, I remember that from last stream. Coke and Pepsi are the same. You're not going to convince me otherwise. I actually managed to get that through somehow. My disguise worked against one guy, and that guard looks harder to trick. Look at him, chat. He's thick as hell. He's got to be holding a couch or something. Yakuza logic means the big guy guarding the stairs always has a couch. I won't be able to get into that VIP room unless I do something about him. I should lure him into the shadows on the other side and take him out there. But that means I'll have to cut across this floor. Gotta be careful about this. Chat, what's the ultimate drink mix that you would make for yourself? Combine Coke with root beer? Oh god, it's just a, that'd just be like minty soda. Okay, hang on. How about I crouch? Can that guy see me? Yeah, he can. Okay. Can I kick it? Yes, you can. Can I kick it? Yes, you... Shit. Let me get to that red square. Can that guy see me? Why would they put a red square there if that guy can see me? He's looking right at me. Oh, there we go. Alright. I guess I have to throw a coin. Wait, wait. 
Watch this chat. I guess I gotta go that way? I'm not sure where it wants me to go. I can't plan my route. I'm really bad at stealth chat. Eat this. Money. Yeah, yeah, go that way, dumbass. Shit. 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 Fuck! I hate stealth, man. I never, I don't, I don't understand these games. I never, I don't get stealth. For those wondering, Mama Wolfie is currently out the apartment. I'm okay. That's my one F-bomb for the month. Damn it. I hate stealth. I never know where to go. See, I thought it wanted me to go that way. Cut through that way. Because I threw the coin that way. Why, did, why would I go through the way I just threw the coin? I hate stealth, man. I always hated it. It's the worst. My brain, my brain just does not process, like... What the enemy can see, what I, where, where I'm supposed to go, and all that, I, I don't get it. I was just supposed to go straight? Because I thought I had to go where, like, to the left of where my cursor is right now. Maybe I gotta go straight. Let's try, let's try going straight. Alright, look that way, asshole. Slip through a hole. Okay. I don't know how that worked, but okay. Okay. Go that way, dumbass. Wait, it's my second- Stealth was my second weakness? What's my first weakness, chat? Why are y'all- Come on! He was right in the- What? What? Where did he even come from? No, I don't want to continue on easy difficulty. I just want to skip the stupid self section. It was the guy behind me, was it? All this tells me, Chad, is I'd be terrible at Metal Gear Solid. What? How? 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 Who saw me? I wasn't even walking in anybody's view. Jesus Christ. One thing I wish I could take away from- Wait, wait, where? Where? If you see an orange icon, move. I I was. I I don't I don't I don't get it. That time I didn't get spotted at all. I gotta go fast. I gotta go really fast. Oh shit, that guy behind me. Fucker. Look away, look away. You piece of shit. I can't run in this mode. I can't run in this mode. Fuck! Is there, is there just a DLC I can download that eliminates the stealth sections from these games? God damn it, man. Seventy-one, that's all. Thanks, Scoots, for seventy-one. I can't crouch, chat. There's no crouch. There is no crouch. Who the hell is spotting me? Oh, shit. Maybe 
Maybe I should go. No, the stairs don't lead anywhere, chat. Am I going the wrong way? Yeah, Mama Wolfie is not in the apartment right now, or else I would not be cursing like a sailor right now. Nope, you there's no crouch. Oh, I, that's... I could not see that guy from the way the camera was tilted. Fine, Chad, that's my bad, but still. Okay. He was crouching, but that was the beginning of the cutscene. His back is turned. Take his ass down! I could not see that dude from where the, where the camera was angled. That's what you get for tackling me three times in the, in the multiverse. That's a good boy. That's what he gets. That was what, 10 takedowns in different alternate timelines? That was a 10 time takedown. <laughs> I hate to say it, Akutsu. I'm in a price bracket you couldn't afford if you wanted to. <laughs> I'm not saying you'd need to call it quits on the detective gig you've got going, Kaito-san. You can just give us a hand, help us out a bit when RK needs some real muscle on the field. That a fucking joke? On what planet would I sign up for more busy work? Think you might want to tone it down there, big guy? Oh? I've got my boys in the room. Being talked to like this isn't a good look. Why would you care how you look? You're a bunch of damn Yakuza. You and Soma are picking up the Tojo clan scraps, yeah? Or do you have a real plan? We'd have the manpower if we wanted to. With all your washed up Yakuza and punk ass kids? I don't see it happening, man. What are you fucking thinking? Exactly why we need more guys like you. Help me show this crew how the big boys roll. I need some authority on this to get it built the right way. So you want me Why do they keep a drill sergeant for scumbags? Count me out. Kamurocho's underground river of cash is still flowing, <sighs> but there's no more Tojo clan upstream to collect it all. That there's no more The final boss from Infinite Wealth had a point want. about Yakuza. And They're like roaches, they always come back. back into civilian lives to live it up clean as a whistle. No, you that's that's what you guys always say. Kidding. Want to have the cash to buy your favorite store? Pop out a couple of kids and settle down with a family? Never would have been possible in the Yakuza life. Well, why the fuck would you need me to do that? After you step into the shadow of the underworld, you never really escape from those chains. Don't sell me your bullshit like I'm one of your fucking brats. Kaito, oh. man, is just not eating Sounds any of this. Your whole damn pitch just ran out of gas. Damn, he didn't drink a single lick of that punch, chat. Dream gang if you want. I don't give a shit. Kaito's a real one. Let's go, Kaito. You keep bugging me about this shit? I'm gonna make sure you regret it. He's loyal, man. That's that's our Kaito, man. Us. Did you say us? Are you refusing to join oh, us crap. A partner? Bring Yagami along for all I care. Did you hear a word of what I just said? This guy ain't taking no for an answer. That stance if I were you. If you aren't coming along as a friend, then you're my enemy. I don't take work from assholes. <laughs> it's your way then. Damn, that means he likes us, hey, chat. Round up the boys. He take work from us. Hey, get off your asses! Huh? Too late for that. I knew exactly how this little chat was going to go down. That's why we snuck in and got caught ten times in alternate timelines just to meet up with you right now, Kaito. For a chat you weren't invited to. Well, if you're done over there, shall we get back down to business? You're not walking This is about to be a good boss fight theme right here, chat. You don't know how to use that thing. You're going to cut yourself, man. You sure? You fuckers are the ones who don't know shit. This whole damn town belongs to the arcade now, you know. No, I don't. Now the whole town belongs to you, huh? You fucking morons. You're gonna have to pry this town out of my hands! I was gonna say, wait a minute. What year is this? Kamurocho? Oh, hang on, chat. We got we got club music. He's got a knife, and I'm a snake. <laughs> snake strike! Ooh, this music! Hang on, who wants to get choke slammed? 
Hurry! Oh! Oh no, not against the not against the side! Oh his nuts and his guts! There he goes, he's dead. Hang on. I love that combo. You knock him against the wall and then you keep him up in the air. On his gut? That's sick. Out of the way, idiot. I wanna choke some of your buddy. Ugh. Okay. Kaito, let's do a tag team. I know you can do it. Alright, watch out, watch out. Kaito, you wanna get in here or? Grab him! Ow, my throat, Sama! Damn it, Kaito! Hey, quit dragging your ass! Right, sorry, boss. No! Fuck him up! Wait, there's more? Oh, round two! Let's go! Okay! Crane style! I spoke too soon, chat. Crane style. Crane kick. That's not a crane kick, but still. Everything's now crane. Crane kick. Crane kick. 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 Out of the way, idiot. Eat my size 11s. They look like size 11s. I don't know. This man ain't wearing size 13s like me. Ugh. Ugh. Yep. Oh no! I keep I keep crane jumping, but I'm not crane kicking. I gotta figure out what that move is. Whoa, 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 whoa! Tiger! Tiger! Dang! That uppercut knocked his His health is no longer existing. Hang on. Give me this chair. Mmm! I'm feeling good right now. Come on, Kaito. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, that was uncalled for. Okay, dude, you're... Sit down. Dumbass, you down already? No, sir. Oh, my God. On, let's fucking do this. Round three. Fight. That just reminds me of... um, What was that one movie I just watched? It was a movie that went completely under the radar. It's like... It's like a, a sci like a mute kid getting revenge. Boy kills world. I don't, has anybody seen that movie? Oh god, I'm stuck. Oh crap! Oh! There's a really funny part in Boy Kills World because the main character doesn't talk at all. Oh my god! Stop! Eat this! But he's fighting this one guy. And no matter how bad he fucks him up, it's like the dude keeps getting back up. Like he breaks, he like breaks his like his jaw. His he's like oh he gets back up, snaps his jaw back in place, and keeps going. This dude stabs him in the neck. Oh god! Stabs him in the neck. He yanks the knife out and keeps going. And eventually, like he's just like, damn, I'm knocking this guy all around the club. He's like round one, fight. And he it's like the guy gets up. Round two, fight. And then eventually when he, oh my god, when he breaks his neck and gets back up and like re-aligns like re his spine, he's like, player two is fucking crazy. He's just like, he's just like, okay, forget this. Boy Kills World is extremely, it's, it's funny. Oi! Get out of here. <gasps> that elbow was nasty. What? You got one too? Oh! No, it's not an anime. It's like a live action movie. It came out and I don't think anybody watched it. It's like one of those movies that went completely under the radar. It's not it's not it's not great. Ow. It's it's fine for what it is. It's exactly what you're getting. You wanna see a, a movie about a guy killing a whole bunch of people? That's the that's the movie. It's it's exactly what's his advertised. Boy kills world. Now I understand Have you seen you like the Borderlands the movie? No, I... I <laughs> pause, pause. Sorry, I, I don't want to pause during the story cutscene chat, but... Scoots, you remember, we, we played Borderlands, remember? I think I gave my review of Borderlands uh, in the time that we played it. I think we played one of the Borderlands. 
So about as long as I spent in that game is about as much as I want to watch that movie. No, not... <laughs> It's it's supposed to be the worst movie of 2024. Yeah, so far. Hang on. Let's let, let's let's. Sorry, you guys distracted me. Now I got now I got to look because now I'm curious because I think last time I checked, last time I checked, it was at a zero percent on Rotten Tomatoes. Not that Rotten Tomatoes means anything, but let's check it out. Let's see. Give it a sec. It needs to load. Let's see. Rotten, Rotten Tomatoes. Borderlands. PG-13. One hour and 42 minutes. Ooh. Ooh. Yikes, man. 9%? How could it be that bad? 52% right. Okay, audi audiences seem to not... Audiences seem to hate it. But critics really hate it. And I hear right... The only thing I heard about this movie is that it's bombing. Like, it made like 14 million back. I'm like... How did they... How did they botch this? This seemed like an easy slam dunk after the rated R comedy that was Deadpool and Wolverine. How did they botch this? They had literally people champing at the bit. Like, Deadpool and Wolverine just made a billion dollars, chat. It entered the billion dollar club. I believe it's the high, one of the highest grossing rated R movies of all time. Oh, wait. This is PG-13, ain't it? Why did they make, why would they make Borderlands PG-13? Was weren't, weren't the Borderlands games rated M for Mature? Why not make a R-rated comedy? Like, and before anybody says PG-13 sells more, Deadpool Wolverine, rated R, made a billion dollars. Highest grossing, one of the highest grossing rated R movies of all time. It can be done. Actually, I think every Deadpool movie, every Deadpool movie that's rated R. One, two, and three. No, wait, two didn't make, two didn't make a billion, did it? One in, one in Deadpool and Wolverine did. I don't know if two did, but yeah, it's, it's. It is doable. Rated R movies can make a lot of money. I know why they did it. PG-13, you can get more 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 teenagers and kids into it. But is I don't know jack all about Borderlands. Except that it, the humor is hit and miss for people. So Rated R would probably be the... Wait, they got Kate Blanchett in this? Huh? What happened? Oh. I'm almost deathly curious. The movie I hear lacks the humor and soul. Uh, apparently. Oh my god. That is crazy. That is insane to me. <laughs> what the hell, man? Is there an R movie that, that's a billion dollars that's not Marvel? Um, That's a good question. That is a really good question. I'm glad you asked that question. Let's find out. What are the current top rated highest grossing R movies? Let's see. Here are the here's the current list of R rated movies. Oh, look at that chat. There's one, Joker. Joker is is the highest grossing R rated movie right now, chat. That's not a Marvel movie. There you go. That answers your question, good sir. There you go, D Matthew. Deadpool Wolverine just hit second place. Oppenheimer, oh wow, Deadpool Wolverine overthrown Oppenheimer, Deadpool, oh wow, Deadpool 2, and it's up there, Deadpool 1, The Matrix Reloaded, It, Detective China, I've never even heard of that, Logan, The Passion of the Christ, The Hangover Part 2, Fifty Shades of Grey, Ted, American Sniper, yada 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 yada, huh, huh, wow, so the top 10, how many of them are superhero movies, we got one, Two, three, four, five. Five of the ten rated R movies of all time are superhero movies. And the rest are originals. Now the question is, Chad, do you think Deadpool and Wolverine will, will surpass Joker? They only need 40 more million to do it. I, 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 maybe? I think so. 
they haven't lost that much steam yet. I think they're still. I think they're gonna do it. Deadpool Wolverine might might actually wind up being the number one highest grossing R movie of all time. That's wild. That's wild. Everybody saying yeah, probably next weekend. Yeah, I'm gonna say this weekend probably. This weekend probably. Let me real quick. Borderlands trailer. I got. I gotta see this. We'll we'll know based on the trailer if it's good or not. Let's check out the newest trailer. Or let's check out this this trailer. This trailer. All right, let's see. Borderlands 2024 official trailer starring Kate Blanchett. Sorry for those of you here for Lost Judgment. I just want to take a quick look at this and see what we're missing. Chat. Hey Maggie. Hey Maggie. Oh Maggie, you so fine. You make me want to blow my mind. Hey Maggie and D Matthew. Wait, I already said D Matthew. D Matthew trying to sneak in here, trying to make me welcome you in twice. What's up, Maggie? All right, here we go. Let's see. Oh my god, this reminds me of Suicide Squad. The first one. God, I hate this planet. Okay, chat, here we go. Let's chat. Say le what is with Kevin Hart and making it into these bad comedies, man? The only one I've seen him in that was decent was Jumanji. The new Jumanji. But that wasn't because of him. That was because of Jack Black. And Jack Black's wait, and Jack Black's Jack Jack Black Jack Black is crap is clap black. <laughs> Jack Black is clap trap. So wait, is it just like the same ensemble of comedians in every one of these comedy movies? That's crazy. Destiny awaits. I'm surprised The Rock isn't in this. I don't actually know the story of Borderlands, so this could be made up for all I know. I'm just judging to see if this is actually fun. If I, if I smile or laugh once. This is a Sony joint, chat? This is a Sony joint? Okay, chat. I know, now I know it's a Sony joint. I know this is a Sony joint. That's funny. Yeah. Uncharted and Venom. From the producer of... Which Spider-Man? I imagine to talk about the Raimi one? Lionsgate. Oh, Lion... Oh, Lionsgate. Lionsgate... Ah. All right, chat. Now, okay. Now, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on, chat. Hang on, hang on. Before we pass judgment. Is that not a movie you guys will pay to see right now in theaters for 20 bucks and $20 in snacks? Is that not something you guys would want to watch? Come on. Be real, chat. Be real. Don't try to lie. That is 100% a movie you guys would spend $30 to go see at a movie theater. That that honestly reminded me a lot of Guardians of the Galaxy and Suicide Squad, but like it did not look as charming. It just looked like a weird ma I think that's what that, I think that's what those games are anyway, like right, a Mad Max kind of spoof. I don't know about y'all chat, but I feel like I should book my tickets for Friday right now. Right now. Look at all those no's. Look at that. All y'all in denial. I know y'all want to see Claptrap and, and, and Kate Blanchett and Jack Black and and Kevin Hart doing the doing the Borderlands. Yeah. That that was not a good trailer. The the, the if the best parts of your trailer are them drinking piss water and, and poop. It's literally poop and, and piss jokes. Which could do a lot for somebody, not for me. You gotta do a little. You gotta do. You gotta try a little harder than that to make me laugh. Then Deadpool, not when Deadpool and Wolverine are there. It's, it's the the best part, chat. The best part is, somebody somebody went right now, to go watch Borderlands, and they're like, this movie sucks. And they literally went across the like across the way to the Deadpool Wolverine movie in the other side of the theater and just went in, just sat there and watched that instead. That's crazy to me. Damn. Could you imagine? Thanks, Avia Ru <laughs> His vision ruckus. His, his vision ruckus. D. Matthew, you only want to see movies I truly want to see? Yeah, Borderlands. Come on. Chat, we should all just get our tickets. We could all watch it together. In fact, let's have a watch party in, in the Discord. But let's first pay money for the tickets so we can get it. We can get it over the 50 million mark. Oh, that's funny. Depends on the AMC stubs, member, so it's free for you. Scoots, don't, don't, Scoots, don't you even, not even if it's free, don't you even, don't even do it, don't. Hang on, I'm getting a text. Uh, I've been copyright striked for watching the Borderlands thing. Great. All right, let's go. Hey, Akutsu. 
I can appreciate your perspective on this, Kaito. Thanks. In that case, you better leave us the hell Randy alone. Pitchford. Yeah, we can do that. We get it. It's fine. Right, Akutsu? Oh! Why are you here? Aren't you busy? <laughs> Just checking in. What the hell was that? You made quite a mess here. Kazuki Soma. Tak meets Soma. He's the leader of the RK. Yeah, I kind of figured. You keep saying we, but I don't think you know what's going on. You just gonna waltz in here and bark orders? Man, shut up in your Kaito cheesy cheetah print offer. jacket thing. And the other guy is Yagami from his own detective agency. Before that, he was an accomplished lawyer. Now he's with Kaito san independently. It's my job to be right. Okay, chat. Sorry, I, I have to pause one more time. You see what this man is wearing. That is confidence. Ain't no one pulling off that leopard print sweater and them red baggy sweatpants. What is that? What 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 is that? Sorry, back to the story. You shouldn't roll up unannounced. I'm supposed to leave you to your own devices. I do have to check in, at least to show my face. <laughs> Got what? a cold? Yeah, I was gonna say what's going on with that? It's a dust allergy, actually. Tough thing to live with. And I used to catch hell for it in the Yakuza. Quit that infernal sniffling, they'd say. <laughs> yeah, that couldn't have been easy. Man. I thought he was just smelling I something the bad. Of you if you didn't blow your nose. <laughs> you know it. I do wish we'd had the time to work together, Kaito-san. Are you talking about Ob Obatarian? She could wear that leopard. Yes, she could. It may feel like we're a small-time outfit in the media term, but RK will grow. And then they'll RKO you. But in the meantime, we'll leave the two of you be. Does that work? Finally, some sense. <laughs> Best of luck with the growth. As the leader here, you need brains and brawn. Look at everybody just laid out in the background. Yeah, I mean, he's like... Something else? Your gang was out there searching for some guy in a picture. Oh, yeah! Remember that chat? How that hunt ended up turning out. Who is that guy? He was some kind of girls bar manager wasn't he it sounded like he would disappeared from Kamurocho more than a few years back you have any luck tracking him down ah uh, we actually found that he's oh. unfortunately dead likely murdered huh Considering Kamurocho's reputation and the nature of his profession I can't say I'm all that surprised <sighs> got it I guess I was just kind of chat curious. always happy to oblige a detective They would not have introduced that plot point if it didn't go anywhere. That guy was important, and he's dead now. Remember that, chat. I guess we shouldn't have taken our case so lightly, even though they're new to the scene. Yeah. Supposedly, some is the one who spearheaded the campaign to scoop up all the ex-Tojo. Turns out he's teaching the next generation of thugs about protection money, loan shark, mugging. He's like an unemployment agency for shitheads. <laughs> They've got 50 full-time bodies so far, but if you include part-timers and other associates, they may be well over 2,000 strong. That's a lot. Even half that's a lot. Yeah, it is. The Yakuza left behind a gaping power vacuum in this town. Even if it wasn't RK, someone else would have swooped in. So much for peace and quiet in Kamurocho. Huh? It's never peaceful in Kamurocho. Oh! Sorry, son's calling. Hello? What do you got for us? It's Shiosaki. Sorry for the wait. I found our file on Ahara's victim. Ah, oh, Mamiya-san, right? Yui Mamiya? Yes. She lives with her family in Isike Bukuro. I'm about to make a quick house call. Let's go. Awesome. Then I'll be right over. Good. See you sooner than later, I hope. Jack said he taco. smells taco seasoning. It's taco time. Go on ahead, Doc. This one's outside my area of expertise. Okay. I'll head back to the office when I'm done. Come on, Kaito. Let's bust some heads together. Oh, he's gone. I'm gonna miss that guy. We rarely get to hang out with him in this game. Sorry. My bad. Alright. I could pop into the local Sega arcade again real quick. Just for a little... A little quick... Let's do a claw machine. Sorry, I gotta do one every... I gotta do one a game. I, it's, just, it's just how I, 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 gotta, I gotta get in there. 
Chat, why didn't you tell me Golden Sun was fun? Jin, do you know? Do you do you have you played Shining uh, any of the old school Shining games on Genesis? If you did, you would you would already know that. Not yet. <gasps> how have how have you never played any of the Shining games? The old ones, not the new ones. The new ones are crap. Don't play those new anime bull crap Shining games. Those things are terrible. Bert will tell you otherwise, but that man has no taste. Too many art. It's well, the sh old school Shining games are SRPGs, except for Shining in the Darkness and Shining the Holy Ark. These things are ugly, man. I don't know if I want any of these. I'm not feeling those prizes right now, chat. You gotta play a game with, with style. A game of grace. A game with a really, really, really amazing story. Epic music. And you'll only get that from Shining Force 1, 2, 3. Scenario 1, 2, and 3. And then Shining, uh, Shining the Holy Ark and Shining in the Darkness. There are no Shining games besides those ones and the uh, Shining Force CD slash Shining Force Gaiden Scenario 1, 2, 3. Those are the only Shining games that exist. Anything else is a lie. Ah, real quick. Uh, 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 the hang on. Super hang on. Lays? Uh, Lays? You want to try an uh, RPG? Hey, Bert. How you doing? Welcome in. <laughs> you want to try any RPG? Try Shining. Shining in the Darkness is like a very classic dungeon crawly. Uh, for it's not first person. It's only first person when you're in the dungeon. It's it's different. And then after that, try Shining the Holy Ark, which is a sequel to that. Well, it's technically a prequel to Shining Force Three, but still. Let's go winning run, because I feel like I'm about to win this. Let's go. Is that what it's called? Dungeon crawling? When it's in first person? Did it, did it, did it, did it. Can I change the camera size? Oh, nope, that's not it. Sonic Riders fans might recognize this track. Dude, I'm killing it right now. I'm so good at I'm so good at hang on. Checkpoint! You know what's crazy? Afterburner, Afterburner and Outrun got like sequels in, in the Xbox, Xbox 360 era. Afterburner got Afterburner Climax and Outrun got Outrun 2. But Hang On never got a sequel, like like a new sequel with like new graphics and like a new playstyle. It's like one of the only Sega Yu Suzuki games that never got a that never got uh, uh, an update. Like where's Super Hang On Two with modern graphics? Just turn it into Road Rash. Road Rash is dead. Just do just do that. -na 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 -na. My first weakness is short. What my hubris? Nah, my hubris is gonna make me win this. I told you I got. Oh God! Lays, why'd you say something? Why'd you say something? The instant you said that, you jinxed me. That was not hubris. That was me reading chat. Now it's over. Now it's over. I'm never catching that checkpoint. Thanks. I was right there too. I'm so mad. God dang it! Hit the music. <laughs> I was doing so good. Are you for real? There hasn't been a space channel in a while for Yakuza. You talking about, uh... Well, I mean, Space Channel 5 did get that VR game a while back. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and petition Sega for a new hang-on game, please. Call it, uh, Super Hang-On Climax or something. Excuse me. They, oh, you know what? Oh, they can't. That I remember now why they don't do Afterburner. Well, no, the old Afterburner didn't really use a specific jet. Afterburner Climax did. It uses like the Tomcat and stuff like that. So they probably can't do that due to like licensing or whatever. Same with Outrun, how they use Ferraris. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm wondering why they never put out Afterburner Climax in one of these games. 
I don't know much about actual jets and stuff like that. Alright, what was I supposed to be doing? Go to the main Genda office. Got it. It ain't easy like pull. What's the best motorcycle game, chat? Is it Road Rash? It's gotta be Road Rash. There's not many motorcycle games, are there? Now I'm thinking about it. Hang on, Road Rash. Get out of here, idiot. I, I, I am, honestly, I cannot think, ah, yeah, yeah. Now you get, now you're getting your broke. Yep. Get Rey mysterio idiot. Biker Mice? Biker, wasn't Biker Mice a beat-em-up? Wait, did Biker Mice even have a game? They had a SNES game? They had a SNES game. What? Of course Konami did it. Of course Konami did it. That's crazy. That's insane. Okay, Let's see some gameplay. I don't know who any of these characters are. I'll be damned. They actually made a Biker Mice from Mars game, and it's actually on motorcycles. Wait, there's a fight, Kate? Wait, is there a beat em up Biker Mice game? You know if there was a game that existed on some sort of IP, there was either a beat em up or a platformer on it in the 90s. That's how it goes. This kind of looked basic though, I'm not going to lie. This is this this is the uh, old school Atari style games. It's this one? Oh. Yeah, all right. This is not impressing me. This is not F zero, this is not. That is, mm, that's all right. It's that that isometric view going a loop style. You know what I mean? That that counts as a motorcycle game. That certainly counts. But I don't know if that looks better than Road Rash. Okay, wait. Oh God damn, I got distracted again. Hang on. Go this way. Where's Genda's office, actually? Oh, it's that over there. My bad. Excite bike? Yeah, uh, yeah. Is that... You know what, chat? I got a confession to make. I got a confession to make. Never played Excite bike. I've never even seen that game. I've never even seen what it looks like. I just know the music from Smash Brothers. I'd assume that was an NES game, though. I don't know. Oh, God, it's the anime building. What the... What is this? Oh no, there's some, there's some, there's some nastiness happening in this building. What on, what is this? E-Space. Oh, it's a, it's an internet cafe, I think. Sponsored by anime. I don't want to go in there. Not that internet cafe, I'm going another one. Ah, you idiot, get out the way. I'm trying to skateboard. I'm trying to Sonic skateboard. A side by 64. If I look this game up, is it going to be cool? I bet it's not. Oh, perfect timing, Yagami-san. And here I was about to go without you. Are you ready to visit Mamiya-san? Battletoads doesn't count. That's like that's like saying Final Fantasy VII is a motorcycle game, cause that one mini game part. Time to head for home. A Haruha is victim who doesn't know we're dropping by. All right, chat. Time to get some answers from the victim of the groping. Oh, never mind. I'm gonna make a save. I haven't saved in a hot minute. 
Don't know if it's on Nintendo Online or if it's age well, but I remember it being fun. Okay, I have to see. I want to see what Excite Bite looks like. One more, one more little breakaway, real quick, chat. I need to see what this looks like. Uh, what is it called? Excite Bike. Let me see what the original Excite Bite looks like. Da 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 da. Oh my God! Four years before I was born. Alright, show me that gameplay. Oh, okay. So Mario Kart actually... Mario Kart actually captured the essence of this stage well. This is exactly what the Mario Kart Excite Bike stage is like. Okay. God damn, those 8-bit noises, though. Okay. Excite... Oh, God. I forgot how ugly N64 games are every time. Actually, you know what? This doesn't, this doesn't look too bad for an N64 game. This actually does not look bad for an N64 game. I'm cr I'm actually impressed. This almost looks like a PS1 game. Is this uphill? What is this uphill biking? Is that what all this game is, or is it just one stage? This I'm not gonna lie. I'm I'm actually I'm impressed. I'm not even kidding, chat. I normally hate N64 games because they look disgusting, but like that actually looks that looked clean. Maybe just that stage. Let's see another one. I want to see some exciting stuff. This is definitely an emulator. Yeah, this this one this stage don't look as good as the last one. This is all right. This definitely counts as a motorcycle game. Then <laughs> I'll tell you one thing. Okay. All right, chat, you got me. Never seen Excite Bike or Excite Bike 64, and now I know what they look like. Okay, let's do this. Wait, what's that? What's that YouTube video you just linked me, Ruckus? I just clicked off of the thing. Let's see. What's this? Moto Racer? You'd have to grow up with the N64 to appreciate the games. Do you though? Like I said. My, my my best memories of the N64 are playing them at a sleepover at a friend's house. Playing Bomberman 64, Smash Brothers, uh, Smash Brothers, Bomberman 64, and Rampage World Tour. Those were like the N64 games that made me. I'm forgetting one. Oh, Mario Party 2 on occasion. Other than that, I the N64 library is like, eh. Moto Racer. <laughs> As far as oh, this looks like outrun on a motorcycle. Okay, I'm interested. Yo, this looks like this looks like outrun on a motorcycle. Look at those blue skies, chat. Those Sega blue skies. Though it's a PS1 game. Okay. Music, music. This is some 90s music right here, chat. No, this game looks nice. I like this. I play this. It's got a good sense of speed, too. I never played this. This is the Moto, Moto Racer. Never played this. Have you ever played Dev Jam? Dev Jam Vendetta or Fight for New York? I played one of them. I'm pretty sure it was Fight for New York. No, this looks nice. I like this. Dude, with the Midnight Club games, aren't those aren't those more cars than motorcycles? I didn't know Midnight Club had motorcycles in them. So actually, I did not know that. 
I don't I don't know if that counts though. Does that count? It's cars and bikes. You know what? You know what we'll decide that? You know what we'll decide that, Jin? Hang on. Let's see what the let's see what the box art says. Midnight Club box art. We're looking for the we're looking for the best bike games. Let's see what the Midnight Club box art looks like. I don't know, Jen. I'm seeing cars. They're not advertising the motorcycles front and center. I don't see a single motorcycle on any of these box art. Even the Game Boy Advance doesn't have it. I don't know about that one. Ride to hell. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Bert. We're trying. We're trying to make it fair for the other biking games. Okay. Ride to Hell would surely be the winner of the best motorcycle game. Midnight Cl Midnight Club 3? Let's see 3. Yep. Yeah. I'm seeing I'm seeing everything but a bike on those. I believe you that it has motorcycles in it, but it, they're advertising the cars first and foremost. Though there's a bike right there. All right. Trying to think. I'm trying to think. Surely we can cook up some more chat. There's gotta be like one more. One more motorcycle game and I'll be I'll be satiated. Wasn't there a burnout? Hmm. I don't know, man. Alright, back to the game, back to the game. Alright, we got some questionings to do, chat. Let's go. Well, the best we can hope for is that she'll hear us out. Jet is that that's the game I was thinking of. Jet Moto. That's the game I was thinking of, I think. If that's the same game I'm thinking of, that might be it. Alright, here we go. Get in. Alright, chat. Let's pause the bike discussion for a little bit. And let's see what Mama... 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 Mama Mia has to say. I, I cannot say her name. About the groping situation. Cutscene time. I hope she actually talks to us. Gives us some information, please. Remember, we're speaking to a victim here, Yagami-san. One whose assailant we defended in court. Oh, she's not gonna like us. If we had tried to make an appointment, she probably would have declined outright. Hmm. Not sure showing up unannounced is much better. So let's just hope she's willing to talk. <sighs> yes. There's no way around it. It's a risk we had to take. We did not travel all the way out here well, not to get an answer. There's nothing. These are nice apartments, though. Look at this. Yes. I'm Shirasaki from the Genda Law Office, the attorney for Mr. Akihiro Ehara. I wouldn't have said that. I just would have been you like, I'm an attorney. Me from the hearings. Why are you here? Don't you know it's rude to show up at someone's door uninvited? I understand, but we have a pressing matter that directly concerns you. If we could do this another way, we would. I apologize for any inconvenience. I'm sorry, but the trial's over and done with. You know I can legally turn you away. Please, talk to You're us. Right, but I'm only asking a moment of your time. Please, would you mind? Even sorry, so I came up with a solid approach for this. Are we really out of luck here? See, I would have been like, listen, we're trying to get evidence on this guy because he may have murdered somebody. We were wrong. I don't have time for this. I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Wait, 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 before you do that. Sorry to butt in. I'm Yagami, a detective helping Sari here out. And? I can't let this be the end. I need to talk to her and to open the door somehow. Sweet talker. Empathize with her. Make it sound quick and simple. Well, obviously, chat. This is not the time. Let's empathize. Why... <laughs> Why empathize when you can criticize? Are you aware of the trending video that's leading people to believe Ahara committed murder? Thing is, the victim was confirmed to be alive in Yokohama until the morning of your own incident. And since Ahara was on the train with you, they're ruling him out as a murder suspect. So, what is it you're getting at? We could put him behind bars if he help us. Sure you're in the clear from any of that unfortunate business. If we could do this now, we'd never bother you again. All we need is 10 minutes of your time. How absurd. 
We're only trying to help. But if later would work better for you, we could always come back another time. With our supervisor, of course. That visit would probably be more formal. There'd be paperwork, audio tapes, you know the drill. You'll want to clear your schedule. I really don't have time for any of that. No, I understand, and it's entirely our fault. We thought we'd do this casually, but we really should have been more by the book. But it is a murder case, so we do have to make sure our paperwork is in order here. Now, would you prefer to schedule a date to accommodate a more formal interview? Uh, you said ten minutes if we do it now, right? We'll make it as painless as possible. All right. Hold on. We God. really do appreciate it. Tricked her into that, but we gotta do what we gotta do. Well, I'm impressed. To get these answers. I'm also not sure I should trust a word you say ever again. Really? <laughs> I did get us in the door, didn't I? We got our foot in the door. Let's get I'm in there. I'm joking. I do appreciate the help. Now let's not screw this up. This is likely the only conversation we'll have with Mamiya san Oh, yep, Hello. there's a six-year-old son she said she had in the records. Hi there. Hi. Again, we apologize for the intrusion. Let's just get this over with already. Yeah, I was gonna say, Ruckus, that's the best, like... Oh, there we go. Yui Mamiya is the best thing is to let them talk. Okay, bye-bye. Ask them one question, just let them talk. We'll make this quick. Just be very quiet, let them talk. We can use the conversation open over my Maya. Let's take a quick around and look for something useful. Picture. Picture. Hey. That's the first thing my eyes went to. A child's drawing, probably his mother. That put a nice frame. How cute. Uh, box of... Box of tissues? Is that like for blowing your nose before you leave the house, or...? Okay. Um... Glass, house plants, uh, bike. What the? A children's bicycle obviously belongs to the boy we just met. Baseball bat. She's very cautious. Uh -huh. Um, or she's into sports. One of the two. A light switch. She clearly likes having the lights on. Um, painting. Kind of ugly. Husband. Wears glasses. If I remember correctly, you, Mamaya, lives here with her husband and son. They seem pretty happy in this picture. Hmm. What was that? Oh, it's a shoe rack. Uh. Picture. More picture. Picture and picture. I found nothing. Wait. Don't mind me. Oh, that's our. That's our. That's our friend. I gotta take more notes of your lifestyle. Sorry, excuse me one second. I'll be right back. Did I, how did I not get everything? I got the picture. I got the bike. Maybe there's an extra lock or something? No. Like she's locking the door a lot. I'm sure there's something on the ceiling? A, oh! An LED light. She's energy efficient. Um, I got nothing. Wait. Cabinets? Nope, that's a picture. I already looked at that. Hmm. hmm. I got nothing. What else could I be looking at? Something on the floor, maybe? Nope. Maybe it's in that room I just missed. Oh, I can I can totally explore the whole room. I thought when I walked in this room that I was going to trigger it. Got a picture there. Well, this is rude as hell. I'm walking in her house looking at all her crap. Suspicious. Oh, laptop. I'm pretty sure this laptop's full of useful data, but we're obviously not getting to it. What's in our fridge? Yeah, we... Excuse me, ma'am. What's in your fridge? That's a nice seat. Is that one of them custom seats for your bad people with uh, the backs? The back issues? That is an elaborate seat. Wait, it's got... What? What the hell? Is that wires going into it? Is it an electric seat? Uh -huh. Okay, um... What tissue boxes? You are very, very, very clean. What's in that fridge? Let's see. Uh, uh, tomatoes, apples, the... purple stuff, pans. This place is so clean, even by expecting guests, I ought to do the same with my office. 
She's clean, okay? Moving boxes. Mm. Oh, what's Suspicious. that? Quite the layout they've got here. The kitchen has a clear view of the living room. Okay. A jungle gym in the house? In an apartment? <laughs> oh, you're one of those neighbors. Have your kids bouncing around and slamming the goddamn ceiling. The people underneath you sound like there's elephants upstairs. Hate that shit. A kid's place that must be nice having a place big enough for one of those. Another tissue box. Damn, they got tissues all over the place. In the kitchen, too? Got plants everywhere. Okay, so she likes caring for plants. What the hell did I just run into? Dang. A TV! Married couple only in their 30s. They seem to be living pretty comfortably. Maybe their parents are helping them out, too. Whatever the case, they clearly are above average income. What do you got for video game systems here? Nothing? Oh, they're evil. I don't see... What What? What? what year is this? 2021? Where's the PS5 and X, uh, Xbox whatever? I don't know what they are. What else do you want me to look at? Books? What's in there? Oh! Jesus Christ! Oh my God! Fucking child jump scare. Oh my god. I don't think I'm gonna get scared that hard in anything that I'm playing this October. That scared the crap out of me. What the hell is he? What are you doing behind this? What? He seems pretty excited about visitors dropping by. What the fuck are you doing? Can I close the door on him? I am very uncomfortable right now. What about you? <laughs> I'm sorry this has taken more than 10 minutes for you, but I had to be very thorough in my investigation. You know your kid's like doing the pee pee dance back there? You wanna like, you wanna, you wanna get him or something? I think he needs to be tucked in. Is that his bedroom? Can I take a seat? So, talk. I've already told the police and the court everything they could want to know about that morning. I'm sorry to put you through this again, but would you mind going over those details with us? What else is left to discuss? I understand how pressured you might feel. And it's very uncomfortable to talk about this kind of thing. Times. I wonder if pressing charges was even worth it. No, what you did was both brave and inspirational. Many victims are afraid to come forward for any number of reasons. We're sorry we represented the other side Your on that. might give them courage to find their own. Ironic. Hearing this from that predator's defense team. That's what I was about well, to say. She don't want to hear that from us. Would you mind walking us through that day from the beginning? Imagine being a lawyer and have to defend some scumbag. So I was just on my way to work when some man grabbed my butt. That's all it was. Oh, kid, you might want to close the door. You don't want to hear what happened to your mom like this. That day? Correct. Not to pry, but where is your husband today? Yeah, where is Still he? At work? He usually doesn't get home until later. On that note, I have to feed my son, so let's get this wrapped up. Oh, he was doing a hungry dance, chat. That's we'll what that was. Moving along. On that day, you and Ahara-san boarded the train bound for Ikebukuro, correct? Had you ever seen the man before then? No. At, at least not that I can recall. Mm. How many times must I go over this? Okay. The lawyer friend here already knows everything I have to say. What do you gain by getting me to repeat things? Gotta make sure the story's That's consistent. Yagami-san here is a specialist. He can take whatever you repeat, analyze it, and draw up an entirely new conclusion. Right? Of course. That's exactly why I'm here. Great. Now the pressure's really on. Seems to be reoccurring lately. Chat? Let's do our best. Pick up any clues you can. So here's the footage. Where's security? There he is, the green, right there. The train. It looks like Ahara-san stepped right behind you. Uh-huh, there he is. Were you aware of his presence at this point? I was. Hang on, was he carrying a bag in that footage chat? Me with no sense of personal boundaries. I remember second guessing myself at the time, thinking it was normal for the train to be there. Did he have a bag when he got caught? There's something under his shoulder. While you were stuck in that situation. Yes. And then I felt the back of his hand against me. It kept getting worse from there. 
to the point where he went under my skirt. That's no good. And the pig had the nerve to write it off as an accidental brush on a crowded train. But that kind of touch wasn't accidental. He even grabbed at me. Truly awful. And I do sympathize. I've also had to turn in an abuser like that. Oh. Personally speaking, some men can't wait to debase themselves at the first opportunity. Why is she looking at us for? Why would you say that and look at me? Yeah, right. I just stood there, frozen. I'm offended. I couldn't see who was touching me. I had no idea what to do. I wanted to scream. But what if he just played it off? So I decided I would bear it till the next station. Hmm. Are you okay, Mom? Oh, no, no, kid. I'm you don't need to be hearing this. We're just having a bit of grown-up talk. Told you to close the door. Are you hungry? Uh-huh. Then go read your book and wait over there for Mommy. We're almost done. You don't want to say this in front of the kid. Damn it! It's going to be honest, no matter what. I should keep my questions brief. Up to now, I haven't had any contradictions between Mamaya's account and the security footage. You said the abuse lasted the entire six minutes between Ikebukuro and Shinjuku Station. Did you see the groper's face at any time during that span? No. I was too terrified to look. And I thought, even if I did, he'd just pull away and escape. But just as the train was pulling into Shinjuku, I reached back and grabbed the hand on me. Okay. That's when I saw his face. Of course, he shook me off as the doors opened, but I'd already gotten a clear look at him. He must have known I could turn him in at that point. So he ran, and I chased after. Okay, chat. Let's look for any inconsistencies. That was captured by the station security cameras. Great job tailing him in such a crowded space. On that note, did you ever happen to lose sight of Bahara-san while running? It's gonna be in that blind spot, I'm calling it. That was pretty easy to spot, and no one else was bolting off the platform like that, so I, I never lost sight of him. At that point, I could feel my voice returning, so I just screamed, that man grabbed me! I'm glad there were good Samaritans nearby. Me too. For sure. And there were a lot of smartphones out, so I figured there was no way for him to get away with it. I was so relieved. I see. I think I've got the gist of it. But now we've got a piece of evidence that contradicts what you've told us. Oh? What do you mean? I missed it. You might have storylines of other testimony from the trial, but there's one thing that it contradicts. Let's see. Security footage from the da 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 and the victim on the train is not visibly... The crime is not visibly captured by the camera. However, when the train arrives, the footage shows grabbing the wrist. Security footage by the, uh, a person in sunglasses appears in one place past him. Transit. Trace element inspection report. Take it from my hand as the five strawberries match the victim's underwear. What contradicts it? A video record about smartphone and other commuters getting pinned by passerbys. Footage has TV test. Security camera footage shows him attempting to flee the scene with the, her in pursuit. That lines up what she said. She said she was chasing him. The only thing I can think of is it doesn't line up with this, but she doesn't know anything about this. But this is the contradiction because he's here at the same time this is happening. So I, I guess I'll tell her this is the contradicting evidence. Oh, don't show this video to your On kid, the by the way. This is bad. 6.30 a.m. in Yokohama. A student teacher named Hiro Mikoshiba was sent off to work by his mother. But he was soon abducted near his home, only to be found dead much later in Ichincho. Is that...? According to the video, the Harasan here is the murderer. What? He killed Mikoshiba in cold blood to get vengeance for his bullied son. This kid was about to graduate high school, but instead he took his own life. So Ahara took it upon himself to punish his son's torment. That's awful. But now we come back to the issue here. It doesn't line up with your story. If this footage is authentic, then Ahara-san couldn't have been your assailant. The victim's estimated time of death and Ahara-san's time of arrival in Tokyo simply don't allow for it. It's just not possible for someone to make that commute. <sighs> but there's the hmm. flip side. If Ahara-san was in fact your assailant, it would mean this murder footage is a fabrication. I don't know what you expect me to say after all this. 
Right? Now you know how we're feeling. That's why we came to see if you had any leads for us. So that's what this is about. After hearing your story, I have no doubt you endured a lot that day. Which would obviously mean that murder video was faked. Then... who shared that video? And why? Wish I knew. Based on the quality, something this convincing would need quite a budget. Whether it's CG on top of real murder footage, or just a rock-solid AI creation... I hate AI. No way, it was cheap. I can't stand it, I can't stand so it. So why go through all this effort to fake a murder? Who would benefit from it? But I have to say, I feel much closer to piecing this puzzle together with your help today. Thank you very much for your time. Yes, and rest assured, this will be the last time you see us. Our apologies for the unexpected visit. And for dredging up unpleasant memories. Will this be the last time we see her? I don't think it's so. It's fine. So long as this is really the end of it all. Okay. I don't think I got any useful information from that, because we already knew that the contradicting evidence contradicted itself with her testimony and what I'd like to report we saw in the video. To the rest of the team. Can I count on you to be there? Sure. Let me give Kaito-san a heads up. All right, then I'll see you there. Don't speak too soon, Jen. I have a feeling we're not out of this yet. Though we probably should jump on ZZZ. Z. Z. Yo, me. Because we're getting hey, close to the end of the stream here. Comrade Everything good? Any news? All good here, man. What's with you? You worried our kid got to me or something? I mean, they did run their mouths about stabbing us in the back. But if you're good, I'm good. Anyway, I'm heading to Genda so Sari-san and I can go over what we learned from Mamiya. You're the boss. As for me, I'm calling it a day. <laughs> you do that. This is the calm before the storm. Something's about to happen. Something's about to happen, chat. So, I gotta go in there. We'll save that for Friday. Let's make a save. We'll save that for Friday. Well, I think that's gonna be the end of the chapter when we go in that building. Something tells me that's not gonna be, it's not gonna be a clean, a clean sweep up there. All right. What do you say, chat? I jump on ZZZZZ and try out the bear for the first time. Just to see what he's like. And don't worry, chat, I started this stream in admin mode so we're good it's time for anime deep trouble income you can just feel it when it gets too quiet in a yakuza and rgg game you know something bad's about to happen to somebody or someone or both Aye, there we go oh yeah you weren't there for that bert i totally rolled the character oh there's an update Oh, we can't do that then. Yikes. Because that's going to tank the stream. Okay, you know what? I lied, chat. I'm sorry. I lied to everybody here. I lied to everybody's face. There will not be ZZZ. How big is the... Is anybody updated? How big is this thing? It's telling me I got to update. No, it's on the launcher thing. It's saying update game. I'm pretty sure if I click this, the stream's just going to go to hell. Tet... Bro, are you, are you messing with me or, for, or, or is this real? 10 gigs? We're going to have to wait till next time then. Okay. Well, chat, there's one more thing we can do, and that's this. Oh, it appears that the Sonic Hurdle is down. Let's try again. Give it a second. The Sonic Hurdle's been down for like an hour. I tried to like turn it on when we were looking at the Borderlands thing. It's not working. It's dead. So, oh, the banner just changed. Chat, okay, can you could spoil this for me, uh, anime ZZZ top fans. The banner, does it have a, does it have cool wolf guy on it? Is wolf guy part of the banner, or is it just new, 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 new characters? Billy and it, it, uh, Jen, it's not Billy and Corin. You you are messing with me. There's no way they would put a banner with those two characters on it. You got me for a second. I was like, wait a minute, no way. All right, chat. Yeah, it appears the hurdle is just, it's dead.